This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza for RV and Travel Adventures, and in, and in this edition, I'm inside a very nice, luxurious fifth wheel. I thought I'd go from room to room and sort of like uh, pretend, uh, fantasize, in my case, uh, I'm the actual owner and see what uh, the benefits are, okay? So this is a different take on an RV review. So I'm actually gonna sit in these chairs and see if I can enjoy them. Go in those chairs, go in those chairs, go in the bedroom, go in the bathroom, go in the kitchen behind me. So let me read my little notes here. It's uh, this model right here, fresh from the factory, just came here last month, a Redwood 3981 uh, FK, uh, front kitchen. It was manufactured on uh, September 24, 2020. Its unloaded vehicle weight is 15,273 pounds. Its gross vehicle weight, weight rating was uh, 17,900 pounds. And its cargo carrying capacity is, is approximately 2,600 pounds plus. This unit is very nice in the fact that it has a very large front uh, cargo area, pass through storage. It's gigantic. Uh, there's some other units right next to me and they don't have that uh, large storage area. So what I like about this unit, first of all, these chairs are very, very nice. These are the darker, uh, you know, materials. Uh, if you like darker materials, you can order in dark. If you like the lighter materials, you can order in lighter materials. But this is a nice dark material. I had to connect my battery up front yeah, so I can have some lights because in these darker interiors, it gets a little uh, subdued and uh, cave-like at times. But some of you like to have that, uh, you know, ambiance of a darker room. You don't want all that brightness. So this is very nice. I have two easy chairs. And of course, so let me see. Uh, they're just easy chairs and very nice. I like it. And you have, uh, this doesn't open up, but you do have two cup holders with massage and heat very nice and i really really like it and you have a perfect view of the television this is the perfect tv watching position and that's a good size tv i think it's about a 50 inch and it's an insignia brand with a sound bar and the fireplace you know the, the traditional setup for the 2020s and 2021 models and right to my right is a nice little sofa that you can hang out so you got two people here two people over here and two people over there. And if you want, you can get some of uh, the chairs from the closet in the bedroom. The bedroom's in the back. And, uh, you know, put them out here. So you can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people here. A lot of folk. So if you're at the uh, resort and you want to hang out with some people, should be no problem. I really like it. Let's go check out the sofa next. So now we're in the sofa. I put down the dimming shades. This also has the uh, block out shades so you get total privacy. So this is very nice. I like it. You can hang out here. And if you're short, like about five foot six or less, you can probably lie down on this and take a day nap. You have USB connections over there, the light controls, and you have a couple light uh, fixtures right here. Again, this unit has uh, dimming and block out shades, and they roll down very nicely. I like them. Very high quality. Let me see what the quality of the chairs are. They're a little firm, but nice. I like them. I like the material. I like the chairs. And, uh, but I'd be at those, on those easy chairs all the time, all the time, watching this uh, TV and relaxing. What would you do in this space? Ah, ooh. I'm now in the dining room. This is a nice little spot to have a little dinner, a little lunch. You have a big window there, a big window there, a big window there. Again, I put down the uh, shades. They have a little spot here for uh, charging your phone if your phone is capable of uh, that type of charging. Of course, this table extends and you can have two chairs right here. The only problem I have is this metal piece right under the table. I sort of hit it with my, with my thigh. I do not like that. So it's a nice color. This dark color matches the dark, you know, surfaces of the chairs and the sofa. I like it a lot. But what do you think? I'm going to head now to the, uh, let's go check out the bedroom next. Why not? Very nice. I'm now in the bedroom. In this room here, you have a 
spacious, spacious bed and with nice bed coverings and you get these drawers down here four drawers down there two drawers there so a row of six eight drawers and two nice very nice and large closets a good size insignia tv i think this is about a 40 inch and of course you have dimmers in this room you can go light or go dark it's all up to you and a nice mirror it's all a matter if you like a front kitchen this one's a front kitchen model this is a rear you know, essentially bedroom and bath model uh, it's up to you what you like but it's very nice it has little end tables and again let me see this bed this is this is about a I give it a good solid B for a bed you know it's nice I like it I like firm beds but if you don't like firm beds uh, you could replace it of course let's head to the bathroom do you want to go to the bathroom let's go to the bathroom this is one bright room. I really like it. It's very bright. It has a window there and of course it has the uh, dimming and uh, privacy shades. It has a shower right here. Classic uh, shower here. They, a lot of the manufacturers from Alliance to Redwood and other manufacturers have this uh, plastic sheeting material that they sort of looks like tile, but it's not tile. It's just plastic sheeting. Basically the stuff that you would put on a floor, almost like a, like a floor. This has two Solid surface uh, sinks and very nice and a beautiful mirror. But what do you think? I really like it. it has a closet there and an area to the right where you can put a washer and dryer Toilet right there. It's always important To have a toilet. Don't you think it's important to have a toilet and again a lot of electronics are right here You have two receptacles controls for the lights and the uh, max air fan it has a max air fan right there perfect little fan and uh, it's a you know, you're right here just after you get out of the shower, it sort of sucks it up and takes all that uh, humidity and moisture outside. Let's go up front and uh, check out the uh, front kitchen. This is the big selling point for a lot of individuals. They like the front kitchen. They rather not have it in the back. They rather have it in front to each their own. We're now in the kitchen. Of course, this unit has all the upscale amenities. These redwoods are super sharp, super nice. They have the uh, thick, super thick, <laughs> very thick, uh, solid surfaces, solid, uh, solid countertops. And of course, all the appliances match. They're all stainless steel finish from the uh, convection microwave to the stovetop, which has three burners. Beautiful, solid, you know, uh, cast iron grates and a nice little oven down here. You can definitely uh, roast a medium sized turkey and uh, it has a lot of accent lighting. And these areas right here, this has, U you know, receptacles, you know, alternating current, USB, alternating current over there, alternating current also. So you have a lot of receptacles here. And let's see what's in here. Ah, oh, yes, you can put something there. There's no storage up here. That's where the slide is. And you have one, two, three, uh, you know, drawers down there. And you have uh, some storage down here also. And it has some interesting finish. This is a sort of like a light tan brown with these uh, sort of oil rubbed uh, bronze uh, hardware. I don't know if it's actual oil or bronze, but it has the tonality of that. Uh, so it's a very nice kitchen. Let me show you the, the sink area right now. Let me go over there. This has a very nice sink, stainless steel, of course, and this nice uh, faucet that you can move anywhere you want for your pots, etc., etc. You can bathe your little puppy here or your little uh, Shih Tzu, whatever kind of dog or cat or pet that you carry with you. This is a nice, deep, deep stainless steel sink. You have some storage here, and you have some storage here, and you have plenty of storage here. Let me say this area specifically, it goes back quite a bit. And this one right here, that's your garbage can right there. You can, has a built-in garbage can. So very nice, very nice. I like this kitchen layout. It uh, offers me plenty of room to cook. And right across the way is a buffet area, a large buffet area. I'm going to show you a picture right now. i to turn on some of the lights. There's different controls for the lights. The lights 
these lights right here are controlled way over there by the TV, which I found very interesting. So the kitchen lights and the lounge area lights uh, are off a receptacle over there. So this goes back quite a ways. I estimate uh, a good uh, 30 inches and goes across about a good six feet. So you can have a nice buffet. If you like to have a buffet for the football game, for a family gathering, this is a perfect little spot. And you have two cubby areas over there where you can put some additional chow. You can put pizzas, you can put whatever you want. You can put some high-end chow right over here. I like it. And of course you have one, two, three drawers. And then you have these uh, larger drawers down here. This one comes out like that. And uh, again, it continues the theme, that sort of tan, uh, sort of uh, paint job. And these uh, oiled rubbed uh, bronze uh, hardware. I like it. You have two receptacles over there. You have two receptacles over here. You have two receptacles over there, USB. And then you have the light switches over there. And uh, very nice. Ah, it's getting warm in this fifth wheel. Let me define this fifth wheel in a few, as few words as possible. Luxurious, premium, front kitchen, rear bath, Right over there is the, you know, the bedroom and right here is the living area. Plenty of seating areas. And again, premium, I emphasize premium. And uh, in the back, they have this massive storage area. For its size, it has a massive storage area and excellent cargo carrying capacity. It's always good to have a lot of storage plus the ability, uh, the cargo carrying capacity. And uh, with this unit, you get, a, you get them both. Up front, you get a little more storage, very nice. And you get the latest, in command, you know, electronics. What's not to like? So I'm at uh, Fort Worth uh, Explorer USA RV Supercenter. They are the nicest people ever. And I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to answer all your questions. I leave always the phone number uh, right about here sometimes and you, you can check it out. So again, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you have the time, only if you have the time. If you don't have the time, I understand. I understand you're too, too busy. Uh, please leave your kind and super friendly comments below the description. Again, it's a beautiful fall day here in Fort Worth. We just had the election a day or two ago. I, I, get, I get confused. Was it two days ago? Was it a day ago? I don't know. It's Thursday, so it must have been Tuesday. Two days ago. Okay. So we'll soon find out who's the president of the Estados Unidos Americanos, the USA. We'll soon find out. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios, bye-bye.